The 4635, this one is also an extremely basic uh, digital alarm clock. There's no colon between the numbers here, so I suspect this is one of the older ones as well. Single alarm, uh, it has kind of a rotary volume knob, which is a little bit different, but no other significant features. This is a kind of a base model, I think, for its time. Here's the 4640. This is really just a basic uh, clock radio. Not a lot of features. Um, it does have a high-low switch for the clock. It has fast and slow time setting buttons and this unique uh, volume inside the uh, knob that, that adjusts your stations. It does have an illuminated dial so it lights up and does not have battery backup or anything else. So it's really a basic radio, but uh, has a couple extra features. 4647, this is a little bit of an older unit, but what's nice is it has the fast um, and slow forward and reverse. It's only a single alarm system, but this unit has um, a weather band in it. So you can actually do FM, AM, or weather and it has a dipole antenna that's built in um, and also there's some um, a fine tuning wheel down here for the weather and it does have a power failure tone so if you lose power and it comes back on the radio will make a beeping noise to let you know or wake you up in case uh, you happen to be sleeping uh, also this snooze button doesn't push down hard. It's just one of those that you just barely touch it. Um, so I have a feeling that it's probably more of an electronic circuit. One last thing that's cool is there's an LED indicator for AM and FM. So they put a little bit more effort into uh, making your, your tuning ability nicer versus just having a, a stick that goes left and right. The 4650, this one is similar to another one which I have except this has the red LED, which is adjustable. Notice that there's no colon between the numbers, so this must be pretty primitive. And also the dial light does, uh, it does light up, but does not have battery backup or any other features. A pretty much basic unit. The 4651, which has a fluorescent uh, clock, it does have fast and slow time uh, set buttons, but it will not allow you to go in reverse. Uh, pretty standard. It does have a lighted dial, which is nice for the radio. Also has an adjustment for the fluorescent clock and does not have battery backup or any other features like that. The 4660, and I would suppose this is one of the first digital clocks that GE put out. It just has a completely different feel to it. There's no colon between the numbers. Um, the, the switches are much different than the others. It does have a lighted dial for the frequency. And the sound is actually a little bit better. This is probably a 4-inch speaker. And then finally, it does have an external antenna connector but because of its age it does not have uh, battery backup but uh, this is probably one of the oldest in my collection also the clock is dimmable um, with this continuous knob here that's interesting how it's like that this is the 4667 uh, it has a nice illuminated display for your uh, AM or FM frequency. Also has a feature called InstaTemp. When you push this down, it's supposed to tell you the temperature. And this came with a probe, which I do not have, which would attach here. Um, and it'll display in Fahrenheit or Celsius. This also has the power failure tone. What that does is if it, the unit loses power, and it gets plugged in, no matter what, it just starts beeping. That way, uh, presumably, if you're sleeping, you at least will get woken up. Also has a dimmer switch for that really nice blue fluorescent display.
here's the 4670 and if I were to put my money on it this is one of my oldest clock radios this happens to be new old stock as well I bought this new and it even has the, the uh, styrofoam and everything but it is absolutely pristine it's got the red LED um, soft touch fast and slow controls plus some other features here like you can put seconds on you can switch the alarm it's just a little bit different and it has a, a variable brightness control and I love this display. I just love the way that the, the channel reads out and when the light's off, it looks really, really sharp looking. Um, as I said, this is probably one of my oldest ones. It's also one of my cleanest. It does have a earphone jack and at the bottom has uh, screws for an external antenna. So. Uh, very nice unit. Um, I would suspect this is from the late 70s. Here's the 4680 and it has a very strange slanted design. Kind of cool though. Um, also has a much bigger LED display. I have not seen one this large and this is definitely older um, than a lot of the other ones. Uh, it has an illuminated background, also has TV sound, so you have your, your TV channels back in the days of broadcast. Uh, does have the fast and slow uh, set adjusters, but doesn't let you go in reverse. Also has a, an independent brightness uh, sliding control. When we look around here, there's an earphone jack. And finally, it does have... Uh, terminals for an external antenna so uh, generally a nice radio speakers about the same but actually has good sound quality the 4685 mine has uh, kind of a, a cloudy plastic front to it but behind that is a, a nice fluorescent clock also I'll turn the lights off for a second but it's got an illuminated radio band i did replace that bulb but it's just not very bright so in a dark environment you'd see it nicely uh, it has the reverse and forward ability to set uh, the clock and uh has two wake times and here's an interesting it has interesting thing it has date right now it's set for it says december 31st but you actually put the date in here i don't know how it handles leap year or any of that it's probably pretty uh, simple but the fact that it has all that this was kind of a full featured unit also has the volume knob in the middle of the tuning knob an earphone jack and but wait there's more a uh, external antenna connector and then we also have a dimmer dimmer switch for the fluorescent so lots of features in this even though it's kind of a basic unit from from its looks Here's the 4695, and I really like this unit for a couple of reasons. It's got the blue uh, fluorescent display. It's got the lockable uh, time settings. It is a single alarm system, but check this out. It's stereo, and it has two decently sized speakers, and it sounds pretty good. Um, it's got an illuminated dial with a stereo indicator light. So here's what it looks like in the dark, but that red light there uh, will come on when a, a station's in stereo. So uh, for a clock radio, that's kind of advanced. It does have a tone control as well as the volume and even a balance. So you could change the balance on the speakers if uh, you wanted to be more specific. It's got a big headphone jack. That's kind of an oddball jack. Usually they're more like a, a earphone, but that's a headphone jack. Uh, this also has external antenna connectors and has the power failure feature to where uh, if you turn that on and you, you this thing loses power and it comes on, the first thing it's going to do is, is the alarm will go off so uh, it can wake you up in case you've overslept. Uh, it also has an adjustable uh, brightness but nice unit and I, as I recall this one took a lot to clean up. This was a real dirty one. The 4870. What's nice about this is it has a uh, variable brightness control. It has two wake times. It has a programmable digital tuner. So this actually is uh, 
fully digital, everything from the radio to the clock setting. Um, speakers a little bit bigger than the others. I would say it sounds a little bit better as well. Um, when we take a look here at the bottom, it does have battery backup and has connections for an external antenna. And one final note is there's an AM tuning adjustment here. You have to stick a screwdriver in. I'm guessing in a different country or uh, area, this thing can tune in a little bit more precise than others, or you can, can tune into a different AM band. This is the second Holy Grail unit I will, uh, I will have in my collection. It's the GE4880. Similar to the 4885, which is also featured in my video here, um, has an AM, FM, and clock direct entry keypad. Um, your switch here on the display will, will choose what you wish to do with the keypad. Okay, it's a dual wake system. When you have the radio on, it'll tell you whether it's FM or AM. Uh, the brightness is controlled by a sensor, so as it gets darker uh, in your room, so does the clock. Um, when we look at the back of this, it has an external antenna connection as well as the power failure tone and a headphone jack. Most of these do not work well. I have a video on my YouTube channel that goes into more depth on repairing and working on these if you search my channel uh, for the 4880, 4885, which again, I consider to be the holy grail clock radios from GE uh, from the early 80s. Okay, here's the 4885 and I will call this the holy grail. Uh, these do not typically work because there's problems with the buttons. Um, if you look on my YouTube channel, you're going to find some other videos because I actually restore and resell these. But this is one that I recapped. Um, the nice thing about it, it has direct keypad entry for both AM, FM, and your two alarms because it has two wake times. It has a tone control. Um, the display here allows you to choose, it chooses what you want to do. This switch will allow you to change the keypad entry. And uh, in terms of the, of the blue fluorescent uh, clock, there's even a light sensor. So the light sensor will automatically adjust the brightness. When you have the radio on, you have an indicator that says FM or AM. It's all soft touch. Um, features a nice speaker, and these sound very good. This has a little bit more of a uh, uh, high fidelity sound to it, in my opinion. If we flip it over, does have battery backup it has all the instructions how to use it has an external antenna connection and then also feels features the power failure tone um, in the event that you lose power and then finally last but not least it does have an earphone again take a look at my youtube channel if you want to see this particular unit in more detail the 4975 with blue fluorescent display a mono tape deck and uh illuminated AM FM tuner dial. What's interesting about this unit is it does have a tone control. Uh, only has a single alarm but it has a little, little message indicator. It says message so like if you if you click that button it goes on and you could like put a post-it note or something and leave a message for someone uh, but it's not in the radio it's just more or less an indicator. Um, unit itself sounds really good. It's got a bigger speaker um, it has a lock button back here for the time as well as brightness. It does not have battery backup or anything else, but uh, it's a really nice radio. This is one of my favorites, even though the tape deck, you know, is kind of more basic. It makes that loud noise and such, but uh, it's a nice unit. Here's an oddity. This is just an alarm clock, but I'm putting it in here because it's uh, similar to what we're doing here, but it has a... a a blue fluorescent um, display. It has a dimmer, which doesn't have much variation, but it does react. But listen to this. It's like a chirp. It sounds like a bird. Okay. And the model of this is the 8147. 
Uh, this doesn't really match any naming convention for the clock radios, but I just figured I'd put it in there because it's GE and um, it's definitely on the older side. I'm such a fan of some of these GE radios and I have some new old stocks. So this is a 4885, which is still sealed. Um, actually never been plugged in before. Same thing with a 4875. Um, this one hasn't been plugged in either. I mean, I've opened them up, I've looked at them, but I've never actually um, plugged them in because they have the original packaging. So just keep these in my collection just for fun.